Devin, how hard is it to get to eight straight conference championship games? Oh, it's hard. Um, I kind of said that to the DBs before the game, uh, just to be grateful for the opportunity we had today. Um, I think sometimes from the outside looking in, you know, you go to eight straight AFC uh, championship games, you're in the playoffs 10 years in a row. Um, you kind of get in a mold like it'll keep happening, it'll be there. Um, but this is a special group, and I think we're starting to realize that we have one opportunity to try to, try to take advantage of everything that's in front of us. And I thought the team um, from the past two weeks, you know, the bye week, this week, just a great mindset of putting everything we got out there on the field, practice meetings, um, and just have an opportunity to try to work again next week. And um, it's a blessing. You talk about the playoffs to go into a game and not know if you'll be at work next week and, and to go 0-0 zero, zero on the clock and know, all right, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. And, you know, we'll get to review the film and, and move on and go to KC. So um, enjoy this for a couple of hours and then get ready to go for next week. Devin, I know you played Kansas City in October. No game is the same. Everything is different. You'll dive in this week on Kansas City, what they are now. But even though you played them back in October, being on the same field with them, judging speed, athletic ability, judging moves, does that help with preparation at all coming up even for this week, even though it was back in October? Yeah, I mean, I think both teams will know each other. Um, not even just playing in that game. There's a whole week that goes into preparing, um, watching – you know, games from last year, watching their games before they played us. So you get to know the personnel. Um, and then now you're just trying to refresh. You're trying to get back on it. You're trying to see what's new, what's different, what's similar. Um, but it, it's a tough week. I, I think you're preparing from a lot of games. There's going to be wrinkles in the game. I mean, this is to go to the Super Bowl. So, yes, that helps. But we got a lot of work in front of us if we want to go beat that team at home. Uh, Devin, uh, after the Keenan Allen touchdown tied the game at 7-7, what was the temperament on the sideline and how good are you guys at just kind of putting one bad play, you know, in the, you know, in the past and, and moving on? Yeah, we were good. I mean, I, I thought it was a great play um, as far as just setting things up. You know, Keenan Allen ran a double move. Um, good job. You know, we knew we were going against a good quarterback, a, a really good receiver, um, a good offense on the whole. Uh, we put that behind us, and you know, I thought we did a good job of sticking to the game plan today um, of everything we practiced. We talked about that throughout the year of taking what we do in practice and pulling it all the way over on Sunday, just every aspect of that, and I thought we did a good job of that today. So we got to just continue that next week. Devin, how hard was it today just with their wide receivers and just, just your thoughts on uh, – you know, how they did today with their wide receivers. Yeah, I mean, they have a ton of skilled players out there, and um, I thought we did a good job of just being aggressive. You know, guys being aggressive in coverage, the front being aggressive in the rush. Um, and when you get that, you know, there were some coverage sacks. There were some just straight-up sacks where, you know, we might have been a step or two behind, but they got there. Um, it's just a, a great mesh, you know, with all of us in there. Um, and then we just got to do a better job, and the game gets like that in the fourth quarter of, you know, the game kind of flips. Your game plan flips as all pass. It's kind of all two minutes. So, um, you know, but it's, it feels great to be able to play next week. Eckler kind of out of the game. Was that the number one goal for you guys today? Yeah, we talked about that coming in and stopping the run and, you know, not letting them get really whatever they want. You know, I think you go against quarterbacks like that, they know if they could get the ball going in the run game, they'll run, run, and then now you got to deal with hard play action. Just everything opens up. So the guys up front did a great job of not, not letting the run game get going. Um, and then it allowed us to do all the different things we do in the passing game with the front end and the back end. Devin, just talk about how effective the pass rush was in the sense that, you know, Phillip Rivers really saw a lot of different guys today. Yeah, and it was great. I think a lot of it ended up in four-man rushes and, and different things like that. Um, those guys just do a good job of studying, knowing what we want to do in different uh, instances and executing at a high level. You know, and I think one thing that definitely helped us as a whole on defense was the crowd today. Um, I don't know if they all watched yesterday and saw that Kansas City won and kind of realized, like, this was the last game here. Um, at Gillette, but they were rocking, you know, from the first third down all the way throughout the game. Um, and we love that as a defense. We're, we're trying to make it tough on Rivers. The play clock's dwindling. They're screaming. It, like, that's tough to go against. So uh, that definitely helped out today, too. Hey, Devin, your brother's first playoff win. Would you say your brother would your brother say to you? Uh, not much, man. I, I'm one of those guys. We've been in this situation. You just want to keep winning, you know. And um, I let the guys know each time that when we do get a win, 
realize this is a blessing. We get to come to work next week. So no matter how the game goes in the playoffs, a win is a win. And uh, we'll take it. And that's what I told him. And I'll see you again tomorrow. So, um, and I won't just see him, you know, at his house or anything. We'll be at work. So I'll take that. Devin, did some of the outside criticism that, you know, the Chargers might be underdogs and Vegas, but were likelier to win, did some of that get into the locker room? And does it really have an effect at this point with so many of you having played so many playoff games? No, I mean, I think for us, we were going to prepare and be ready to go, whether you pick us or you don't pick us. Um, but we see it. You know, we see, you know, our quarterback's too old. We're not good enough on defense. You know, the skilled players aren't good. We see it, but it doesn't affect how we prepare. Like, um, we, we love practicing. We love playing with each other, preparing. Um, we're going to take advantage of that and come out ready to go no matter what. So, um, you know, I think, we, like I said, we have a team with great character, a lot of guys in there with really good character that are going to keep fighting and have already been counted out multiple times, so that never affects us. Last question. When your offense scores two touchdowns in the first three drives, what does that do for a defense? We only thing we're thinking is get on, get on the field and get back off the field. Like we we play defense, we know how hard it is if an offense has a long drive like we had that first drive, and if we can go and get stops and get them right back out there. Like it's tough as a defense for one to get the adjustments that are happening to catch your breath. Like you just feel like you're out there, you're out there. So um, I thought we did a good job of that in the first half of going three and out. Um, or having, you know, five, five plays and not like just doing those things to get off the field. And when we do that for our offense, they get going. It's, it's tough to stop them. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone.